British Grand Prix is Cal Koch, though, but he's putting all those behind him as Manfred Vinales he comes through the loop. He has a good glance at the big screen there. Manfred Vinales edging ever closer to Suzuki's first victory since Le Mans in 2007. He comes down the Wellington straight. The Suzuki fans are in jubilant mood. Manfred Vinales, he's been MotoGP's top gun today. Cal Crosso in second place, but now all eyes will turn to the 21-year-old Spaniard. His premier class maiden victory. Suzuki's first win since 2007. Maverick Vinales wins here at Silverstone. Brilliant ride by Maverick Vinales. Cal Crutchlow takes a phenomenal second place. Valentino Rossi third. Marquez did find his way back into fourth place. What a ride by the Spaniard. He was all action throughout that 19 lap race. Danny Pedrosa fifth. Andrea De Vizioso in sixth place. Alessa Spargaro was seventh. That one second penalty won't alter his position. Jorge Lorenzo back in eighth. Dano Petrucci crossing the line in ninth place. Just nine riders across the line as we stand at the moment. Alvaro Bautista in tenth place. There's Alessio Spargo, great to see him congratulating his teammate Manfred Vinales. Yeah, Yoni Hernandez 11, Eugene Lavani 12, Alex Rhodes in 13th place, Hector Barbara 14, and in 15th place Tito Rabat and Jack Miller in 16th place. I think Scott Redding may still be going despite these two crashes and should finish 17th. There you go, confirmation. Chris Gimulin, the last Suzuki MotoGP winner back in 2007. Well, that long run's ended. How many long barren runs are being ended at the moment? Ducati winning their first race in six years. A British rider winning for the first time in 35 years here in Bruno. And now Maverick Vinales, Suzuki's first winner in nine years. And Cal Crutchlow, he looks almost as happy with that second place as he did with the win in Bruno a couple of weeks ago because that was a brilliant ride by Crutchlow. Well, he fought off Mark Marquez, he fought off Valentino Rossi, he fought off Andrea Iannone. Superb stuff there is his wife, uh, Lucy. Brilliant stuff from Crutchlow. Boy, has his season turned on its head after so many disappointments. Valentino Rossi in third place. Gonna shake hands out with Cal Crutchlow. All in his bitter rivals. Judge what's that footage. That was just fantastic. Maverick Vinales. Well... No Rossi and Cal Crutchlow. But your body going to be telling your children, your grandchildren in years to come. I saw Maverick Vinales win his first bloody GP race, but he is going to win an awful lot more. Mark Marquez comes in for a fourth place. And boy, did he fight. Uh, quite rightly, a, a round of applause. So I think the crowd is giving him a round of applause. I'm really glad to hear that, but you're not going to see fierce and riding the forms by anybody in the world. Than that. Yeah, that was absolutely brilliant from Mark Marquez. I hope he's smiling. Uh, he's lost three points in the World Championship. It's not the end of the world, is it? This man will be smiling. Maverick Vinales, Suzuki back on the top step of the podium. It's been a hard going for the Hamamatsu factory since 2007. They've been only knocking over Cal Crutchlow's dad there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that will mind too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see there, just giving a pat on the back to Maverick Vinales. Yeah, it's great then coming back into Grand Prix racing. It was a sad loss when they dropped down. And Valentino Rossi, but congratulations. The girlfriend can now take her hands away from her face and kiss her man. Well, they might have been cold and wet yesterday. They might be a little bit chilly today, but those British fans have seen it because today, Moto3, Moto2, and MotoGP has been the best advert possible for World Championship motorcycle racing. It's been breathtaking action throughout the day, Nick. If you can't enjoy that, you really shouldn't have been watching. And um, that goes to, uh, to be battling with the guys at the front. <coughs> I think we, we deserve that result here. I think the crowd deserved it. They've backed me through thick and thin here over the years. Um, most of the time I've been in the hospital. So to be, uh, to, be, to be here and still on the podium for them is fantastic. The pole position in the second place, I'll take it all day long. I didn't expect to be on the podium, I expected to be in the top six. You are the Sunday champion, Suzuki's first win since 2007 and your first ever MotoGP victory. How does it feel? It feels incredible. I mean, uh, for what? 
all I fight all the time, now come true, you know, and one race like that, but I could manage all the time, the, the lap times were so good, you know, the team worked so much, I'm so grateful for them because I came to this weekend that I, I think I could, I could win, you know, because I feel also really great on Silverstone always and my bike was on a really good level and today we did it, you know, this one dream that came true, I hope I can stay there and give to Suzuki more, more, more things like that. Thanks a lot, Mario. Congratulations. As a uh, gun, Mac, of course, he is named. His father named him after uh, Maverick, the character that played played by Tom Cruise in the, the film a few years ago, the Hollywood blockbuster. They took him on a plane, didn't they, last year? Yeah, they did in Aragon, yeah. That scared him a lot more than ever riding a motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> well, he was flying today, no doubt about yeah. it. Brilliant performance. Now, you go back to Chris Vimeo 2007 in the rain. You know, before that, Suzuki's last win before Vimeo was way back in 2001, Seto Gimeno, uh, Valencia. Well, congratulations to Maverick Vinales. Congratulations to Suzuki. You have lapped it up. You know what, Nick? I'm just thinking off the top of my head, and I'm pretty sure this must be right as we get again confirmation of Suzuki's drought coming to an end. Chris Vimeo in Le Mans 2007. Maverick Vinales must be the first rider in history to win in Moto3, Moto2 and MotoGP. Right. It was a coincidence that the three guys that started on the front row, the three guys that had the hard front tyre and the medium rear all finishing the top three. There you go. Dominic Brubio. Well, he was Suzuki couldn't have brought a better man in, could they, to mastermind their return to Grand Prix racing. Peter Thomas from the Circuit of Wales makes the presentation. Suzuki. Back in the frame. Hal Crutchlow, the trophy. What a month it's been for the man that lives in the Isle of Man, but that was born just up the road from here in Coventry. Yeah, 11th podium finish for Crutchlow. But the race winner, history making once again. He's 21 years old. He brings success back to Suzuki after his very first MotoGP victory. Congratulations, Maverick Vinales. So congratulations to Maverick Vinales, congratulations to all the riders in that amazing race. We wish good health to Lonis Baz and Paul Espargo who crashed and turned two and the race had to be stopped and restarted and dropped by one lap. Of course we will be back in action in just about uh, five days time for the first practice session for the Grand Prix of San Marino and the Riviera of uh, Rimini at the Mazzano circuit. It's rain, it's been windy, it's been cold. But in all three classes, the riders have come up with unbelievable entertainment for the crowd of 75,000. Very special day for British... Suzuki back on the top step. Chris Vermeulen, I'm sure, is back in Australia doing his work as a television commentator and the last Suzuki winner at Le Mans 